Hello, this video will come around to manually install the Nagios Log Server application on a clean system for monitoring and organizing log data. This video will assume that you are using a current version of a RHEL compatible system. Note that Nagios Log Server is supported only on RHEL and CentOS Linux servers. You will also be required to have shell access to the server you plan to install Nagios Log Server. You will need to log into your server as the root user to perform an installation. Next, install Nagios Log Server from source by issuing the following commands at the shell prompt. After the full install script has been run from the command line, you should see that the installation was successful. You can finish the installation by following the URL provided to you. You should see a screen when you load the server that presents you with more options for defining the installation. Here you are presented with two options. The first is to set up a new installation, which if you have a license key already, you would select this option and input the key here. Or if you would like to try a 60-day free trial, select this option. You will now enter in a username, a password, then an email address that you will be using for Nagios Log Server. Finally, define your language. After you have finished defining the installation, click Finish Installation. Now that the installation is completed, you can now log into Nagios Log Server by entering in your username and password and clicking Login. If you are attempting to add a new instance to an existing cluster, back on the installation page, you would select the Add New Instance option. Here, you will need to add in a hostname and cluster ID from an existing cluster. You can find your cluster ID for the specific cluster you would like to add the instance to under Administration, Cluster Status. You would then find the ID here under Cluster Status. Back on the installation page, enter in the hostname of a valid hostname or IP address of the server you use to look up the cluster ID, and the cluster ID itself. Then click Finish Installation. You can now log in with any username that has been previously created within the cluster. Thank you! This concludes manually installing Nagios Log Server. Be sure to check out library.nagios.com for additional videos and documentation. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us at support at nagios.com.